It may have been business as usual for workers at the Brinks Allied security firm today, but behind the scenes in the rear of the building, Garthi forensic experts were trying to piece together how five men last night carried out one of the most daring robberies in the state's history. It was a meticulously planned raid with a good deal of preparatory work carried out in advance. The gang had cut saplings, removed bolts and sawn through fishings to gain access through the outer fence. They had also laid a bridge of planks across a ditch to facilitate their entry and exit. Then they broke through a second fence into Brink's yard with a stolen blue Mitsubishi Pajero. They smashed through the door to the company where the cash was being transferred from a security truck to the vaults. Two of the five mask raiders overpowered staff and quickly transferred the money. Four shots were fired and one employee was injured when the door was rammed. The raid lasted just one minute and has been described by Garthi as daring and sophisticated. It was timed to perfection. A security van had collected used notes during the day from banks and had just left its Garda and army escorts and was being unloaded here. The gang then made their getaway in a stolen grey Cherokee Jeep. That vehicle was later found abandoned in an isolated field at Barberstown Lane close to Dublin Airport. The Jeep, which appears undamaged, was fitted with false number plates. It carries the name of a Northern Ireland car dealer and had a Northern tax disc. Earlier today, Progressive Democrat leader Mary Harney suggested in the Doyle that Garthi were aware for some time that a crime of last night's magnitude was about to be committed. The claim was denied by the Taoiseach and later by the Minister for Justice. Uh, we all know that the Gardaí and good police work would, would uh, allow that the Gardaí would get regular uh, intelligence information that would allow them to fight crime. And in fact, very often this information allows them to intervene and prevent a crime happening. Um, I've been assured by the Commissioner in a personal meeting with the Commissioner that they had no specific information about this crime. If they had, I believe they would have stopped it. At their news conference, Garthi leading the investigation also denied that they had any direct knowledge. Well, obviously we don't want to go into detail about what we do operationally, but uh, if we, uh, I, I don't think the question uh, really deserves an answer in the sense that if we knew that this was going to happen, we would have done something about it. Could I ask you about likely suspects at this stage? There's been some talk of a North Dublin inner city gang. Yes, well, in relation to that, I would say we have an open mind. Uh, we're obviously looking at various groups, uh, but we haven't uh, excluded any particular uh, person or group from our inquiries uh, at, at the moment. Well, the Chief Superintendent leading the investigation, Jim McHugh, is, confirmed uh, that a man Dublin is being detained at Store Street Garda yeah. Station, but said it was too early to say if he'll be charged. Garda also appealed to the public to contact them at Santry Garda Station with any information.